Hi guys, good evening. People, hello. Hello, hello teacher. Hi guys. Good evening. How are you? How is everything? I'm fine. Just arriving at home. That's good. That's good. Yes. Perfect, by the way. Um, like, what about you, teacher? How are you? I'm okay. I just I'm just here at my house. You know, it's been a normal day. How about, how about your weekend? My weekend was normal. I didn't do anything interesting. I just uh, on Saturday I went to work. On uh, Sunday I spent like the whole Sunday with my son, and uh, that's it. I'm here. Today's Monday. Hey, great. It was, it was normal. Yeah, I say it was normal. Okay, teacher. What about you guys? How was your weekend? What about you? How was your weekend? Guys, how was your weekend? Tell me. Hello, people. It's one day, it's one day everybody. Sorry. It's Monday, people. It's Monday. You have to be full concentrated. Full concentrated on what you're doing. <laughs> right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. It's a pleasure to be here another week, Monday again. So thank you guys for being here. And yeah, it's a beautiful Monday, as always. All Mondays are beautiful. I am gonna take attendance right now. So people, when I say your name, say hi. What did I do? Hold on. This is the wrong one. All right. Ana Patricia Linares. Present. Hi. Yeah. And we have uh, Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Adriana Stephanie Martinez? No. Not yet. Ana Selvi Chévez. Present teacher. Wow, you're early. This is the first time you're early. <laughs> no. Yes, it is. So, oh, uh, teacher. Gabriela Alejandra González. Hi, teacher. Present. Hi, hi Gabriela. Gloria, Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Hi. Hi. Guadalupe and Carmen López Flores. No. Jose Ernesto Osorio Moran. No. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Hi, Julia. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Hi. Hi. Lourdes Beatriz Iragueta de Miranda. No. Luis Orlando Rodríguez Herrera. Hi guys. Hey, Nelson Elgardo Sanchez Ramirez. No. Ofelia Orellana Arce. No. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. No. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Hi, Rosa. Sandra Gladys Mendes Martinez, Martinez, Mendes Ramirez, sorry. No, okay. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. No, okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Hi, good evening. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Hi, teacher, good evening. Suma Rosaura López García. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. 
Present. Ay, Flor. ¿Qué es lo que son de Ay. la palabra de Eraso? Edwin, Alexander, no. And uh, Wendy, Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy, I'm not here either. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you guys yeah. for being here. It's a pleasure to see you again. You look amazing. Okay. Let's start. Uh, thank you for being here. It's Monday. We start a new week. Thanks to life and thanks to the universe, we're starting a new week and a new, well, yeah, pretty much a new week. Yes. All right. It's awesome. It's good. You look good, people. You look, you, you, wow, you look incredible. That's because your cameras are off, so I cannot see you. So <laughs> that's okay. Okay, people. Let's start. We're gonna be talking about a very interesting topic. We've talked about this before. So we're going to continue with our uh, acquire more, acquiring more, more knowledge about this topic and more understanding and several other things that we're gonna be looking at. Yes. Okay. Uh, I am like already sharing the, the information with you all. Can you please tell me or let me know if you see the, the information? I can yes. see. I cannot see you guys. Are you here? Are you there? I see you now. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Welcome, uh, Susana. Welcome. Uh, let me see who else I see. Oh. I saw Susana over there. Welcome, Sandra. Ophelia, thank you, for being, thank you for being here. Pamela, hello. And uh, yeah, that's it. And Guadalupe, thank you for being here. And Sandra, okay. excellent. People, Patricia, hello. Thank you for being here. Yes. All right. Here we go. Today, we are going to be talking, practicing about applied communication and emotional intelligence to handle conflict. That's our topic for today. Let me repeat it. It says, apply communication and emotional intelligence to handle conflict, okay? Handle means deal with, okay? Handle, lidiar, okay? Control, manage. This is class number 13. This is class number 13. And today is, July is, Flying, brother. July is flying, 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 yeah. yes. All right, we're gonna start. No, no, I, have, I cannot see you. There's some. There's a problem here with, the, with, with Zoom. I'm gonna share again because I couldn't see you guys. Now we're, we're, we're good. Okay, uh, to start, I have this question for you all for you all. So I would like to hear different points of view, different answers or different opinions to this question. The question is, what is emotional intelligence? What is emotional intelligence? That's the question. So you can take, you can take a few seconds or a minute to think about your answer, opinion or point of view, and then you can share with everybody. Okay, I would love to hear different opinions. So the question is people, what is emotional intelligence? The question is there, whenever you're ready. I'm here waiting. Hello teacher. Hi. I, I think that Emotional intelligence. It is when we can, we can, uh, for example, um, uh, when we have a control about our um, motion. Okay. And um, because sometimes we have to to do, uh, or I guess every day in our jobs we have to to we have we have 
uh, some trouble, but we have to to solve. But the way, the best way, it is uh, with a good emotional intelligence. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. Yes, Luis. Uh, for me, is the available. Well, is the ability mm -hmm. to have your emotions uh, under control. Yes. Okay. Yes. The ability to have your emotions under control. Okay. That's a perfect one. People, continue. I'm listening. Me. Okay. Go okay. ahead. For me, emotional intelligence is the ability to understand what is happening inside us and okay. to manage our our feelings mm. and to, under, to understand that our feelings are uh, can affect uh, another uh, other people other people yes okay if I, if i'm angry i affect people yes that brings that brings a negative vibe you know a negative atmosphere all right yes carla thank you excellent that's what I like, people. I like participation. If you don't participate, I'm going to kick you out of the class. I'm kidding. Okay. Hey, uh, emotional intelligence too is the ability to manage our relationship with another person. Or okay. group. With another person or another group. All right, all right. That's a good one. That's a good one. Thank you very much. People, continue. Go hey, teacher. Hey, hello. You're early today. Yeah, yeah teacher. Miracles it's Monday. Miracles exist, huh? Yeah. <laughs> in, in my opinion, the emot emotional uh, emotional intelligence is the way in which you express your emotions, mm -hmm. but controller, responsible, and conscient way. Conscious, conscious. Conscious, conscious way. Yes, it's important that. Uh, yes, because uh, you, you can express, um, uh, how do you say, angry? Anger. But anger, yes. Anger, anger. but anger. Anger. But there is a way mm -hmm. when you express because it's important when when there is a specific situation you don't like. Mm -hmm. It's important to express. Okay, okay, excellent, excellent people. Who else? Go on. I'm here. I'm listening. People, it's Monday. Hello. Show me that Hello. you rest well. <laughs> okay, teacher. Um, for me, is uh, the capacity to mix or to blend the way that we think and the way that we feel uh -huh. to make uh, an optimal decisions. Because okay. sometimes, sometimes we are uh, angry. And Me. it can it can be dangerous uh, when you are taking decisions. You have Thank to you. control. We have to control ourselves. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. For me, that's in, in emotion. I remember there there is an expression or there's a, a group of words that say, "Don't make decisions when you're happy, or when you are angry." angry. Yes. So like, like. Yes. It's, it has to be a, a balance. You have yes. to make you have to make decisions wisely, smartly. Many years, many years ago, I have a a bad moment because of that because of my emotional intelligence was under underground, and it was very it has very sad consequences in my life. But I understand after that, mm. and it's very important. It's very important to control. Or emotional intelligence. Okay. 
I can't, I'm sorry. Impossible for me. I need classes. I need, you know. Yes, I receive a seminar. How do you say a seminar? Seminar. Yeah, I received a seminar about that. It was a very, very intelligent, interesting uh, a topic because okay. there are many things in, in our brain that uh, uh, plays a role. And it's yes. very, very, very nice. <laughs> yes, some people have told me that I'm crazy, but it's possible, you know. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you, Rosa, for your opinion. People, continue, go on. I'm listening. Me, teacher. Okay, Susan, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I think it is the better way we have to, to respond and do anything. Could you please, please could you please Thank repeat? You. Okay, I think it's the better way we have to respond or do something. Okay. The best way to respond or to do something, okay? The best way to behave, the best way to act. All right, all right, that's a good one, that's a good one. Okay, I'm, li I'm still listening. Sandra, I'm here, Pamela, Guadalupe. Hello, Wendy, Flor, Edwin, Patricia. Okay, Mauricio. Hey, teacher. Go ahead, thank hey, you. Teacher. Okay, for my opinion, it is a good ability uh, to trust as much possible, the motto to people uh, so that they have a, conf a confidence mm -hmm. in them. Okay, okay, that's a good one too. That's a good one too. Thank you, Mauricio, for your opinion. Yes, Mauricio, all Mauricios are smart. For me. <laughs> okay, yes, sorry. For, for me, is uh, I think uh, is the yeah, capacity to handle the problems. The capacity, the capacity uh, to handle. Capacity to handle the, the, handle capacity. the, the problems. Capacity. Capacity. Uh -huh. Capacity to handle the problem. Okay, I think men don't and, have the capacity and, to handle problems. Yes, continue. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And control, uh, uh, manage the co worker co working different opinions okay. in rela rela relationship. Uh -huh, relationships. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. That's a good one, guys. Thank, thank you very much for your example. Yes. Men, men cannot cannot like handle uh, conflict or problems. It's difficult for men to do that. Yes, all uh, like like almost impossible to to for men to handle problem because you know, see, wife, girlfriends. This is difficult to handle that problem. Yes, difficult. <laughs> Tell people relax. Okay, I'm kidding. All right, people, continue. I'm listening. Hello. Uh, Hello. To me, to me is the cup uh, this is the way you can control. Come again, please. Uh, your emotion and the, you can control mm -hmm. your emotions and don't affect the, another person with your uh, affections. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know? Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know if you hear me. Uh, this is that I hear you, but but there is some kind of interference when you're talking. Like I cannot really understand what you are saying. I mean, I hear, I hear, I hear what you're saying, like, but you're saying, but I cannot comprehend the words because like you you speak like this. Like, I there has to be some interference with the, with the with the. Microphone, uh, internet, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Would you be so nice to repeat it? Thank you. <laughs> yes, I say that uh, intelligent, emotional intelligence is when you can control your emotions uh, and don't affect to another person with your decisions. 
uh, well, uh, you can, um, yeah, you can control where you are want to affect them, affections. Okay, now I heard, I heard everything. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thank you very much for repeating. Gabriela, hi. You were about to say something. Yes. Hi, teacher. Uh, okay. Yes. In my opinion, emotional intelligence is how each people identify and each person, manage. Each person. Yes. Each person mm -hmm. identify and manage their own emotions and also uh, know who react to the emotions of others. I think it's important always take some time and think uh, what is the best way to face a situation before acting. Okay, before acting, all right, all right. That's a good one, that's a good one. People, continue. Anybody else? I'm still waiting. Yes. I haven't heard from some people. Nelson. Hi, Wendy, Flora, Edwin, Ada, Glory. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> the Hi. emotional intelligence uh, refers um, to a person ability to to proactive uh, use emotion um, but their own emotion and those and those hope those mm -hmm. of other around them okay okay that sounds good that sounds good what else? Anybody else? Teacher, I think in we can confuse the term because mm -hmm. um, emotional intelligence um, is not always mean that you can you can say nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I don't know if you understand. I understand. I understand. I understand what you're saying. Yes. All right. We will continue talking about about this 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 topic. Okay. It's the the the, talk, the, the class is all about this topic, the uh, emotional intelligence. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. Now, the next thing that I need to do is this: Will you be so? Will you be able to brainstorm about emotional intelligence? Can you think of words that are related to emotional intelligence? What can you tell me, people? What can you say? Control, teacher. Sorry? Control. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, continue. We have, we can write down a lot of words. Okay, control. Em empathy. Empathy, yes. Empathy is like this. Okay. Sorry, my bad. What else? Patience. Patience. We don't have patience. Patience. This looks very, very weird. Like the, this one. Yes, that's that's better. Maybe self control. Okay, self self control. Yeah, self control. But I have people continue, continue. Self control. Expression, teacher. Ex expressing, let's say. Expressing. Expressing our selves. Sounds good too. What else? What else? Tell me. Responsible, teacher. Okay, responsible. What do you say, Sandra? I'm sorry. Communication. Okay, communication. Communication or communicative. What else? Relation management. 
Okay, management. Okay, management relationship. Why do you say reglamento? Pretty much rules. Rules and obligations. Okay, rules and obligations. What else? Good listening. Good listening, okay. Good listening. Entendimiento. Entendimiento. Understanding. 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 Okay. Yes. What else? People. What Amability. else? Amability. Amability. Oh no! No, be kindness. Uh, okay. Kindness. Oh, kindness, kindness, yes, kindness, okay. Kindness? Yes, amabilidad, yes. What else, people? Social awareness. Okay, social awareness. Social awareness, what else? Compromise. compromise. Sorry? Compromise. 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 Okay, compromise, what else? Decision. Decisions. Okay, what else? Good behavior. Good behavior. Okay, good behavior, what else? Oops. Guys, what else? Respect, respect. Respect, okay. Respect, uh-huh. Deserve awareness. Self-awareness. Serve awareness self awareness thank you nelson uh huh what else people hello resilience resilience what else hello jose good to see you again well good to have you here again thank you teacher. people what else Feelings. Sorry? Feelings. feelings. Okay, feelings. Objectives. Objectives. Okay, yeah, it's related to Object. it. Yes, what else you go? In, in goals, goals. Objectives and goals. Sorry? Objectives and goals. And goals and goals, yes. Objectives and goals. Goals too, the same thing, yes. Or aims, targets. Guys, hello. What else? Would you be so nice, anybody, anybody? Would you check, would you please check if the word resilience is correct? Because it doesn't look correct. Could you please like check if it is correct? Resilience, I think it's with S. How do you say buen ambiente? How do you say buen ambiente? Oh, good environment. Good. The first matter is S to check. Environment, yes. Sorry, Elena. Uh, resilience, the first letter is S. And S like a soap. Oh, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Looks weird, resilient with S. Okay. Is only one L? 
Really? Yes, only one L. E I E. Aha, uh -huh. resilience. I E. Resilience. Where? Here, I E, like this, or here? Resilience, yes. Resilience. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Okay. Uh, Louis here says respect. Think outside the box. Like, like. All right. All right. That's good. Okay, people. Thank you very much for for brainstorming this this thing. Okay. Later on, we will express ourselves and we will like tell stories about about this. Okay about uh, situations in which we have uh, acted wrongly and situations in which we have acted perfectly. Okay, thank you guys for participating in this activity. Let me erase this thing here. And we will continue with another definition here. And this is, what is the meaning of communication? All right, what's the meaning of communication? Let me see, Pamela, could you please read? Thank you. Reading. Read, please. Thanks. What is the meaning of communication? The process by which information is exchanged between individuals through a common system of symbols, things, or behaviors. Communication is a two way process which involves one listening to others, receiving, two, expressing sending all right all right thank you for reading pamela it says uh communication is the process by which information is exchanged between individuals through a common system of symbols signs and behaviors communication is a two-way process which involves involves with s sorry number one listening to others that is receiving you know and expressing yourselves is when you are sending what you're feeling, all right? That's the meaning of communication. Communication that is not, is not only speaking, all right? It's not only speaking. It says there that it's a system, a system of symbols, signs, uh, or behaviors. It's not just speaking, all right? More than, more than that. All right, here we go. Then over here, I have what is emotional intelligence? What is emotional intelligence? Over here, I have two definitions that Daniel Goldman provided a long time ago. Okay, Daniel was a person who investigated a lot about like the intelligence of people. So the definitions that he has are these ones. Let me see. Uh, okay, thank you. Flor, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Flor, could you please read the definitions? What is emotional intelligence? The capacity for going, Recognize, recognizing, recognizing our own feelings and those of others for motivate, motivating ourselves for managing emotion well in ourselves in ourselves and in our relationship relationships stop there stop there thank you okay just stop okay. there thank you the first definition says the capacity well what is emotional intelligence the capacity for recognizing our own feelings and those of others for motivating ourselves, for managing emotions well in ourselves and in our relationships. Okay, that's one of the definitions from Daniel. He's got another one that is similar to the, to the previous one. Uh, Susan, could you please read the second definition? Okay. The learned ability to perceive, understand and express our feelings accurately and to control our emotions so that they can work for us and not against us. Against right. us. Against us. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes. The second definition says the learned ability to perceive, understand, and express our feelings accurately 
and to control our emotions so that they can work with work for us and not against us. Okay. All right. That's the definition for emotional intelligence. Give me a moment, please. Okay, I'm back, sorry. Okay, is there a word that you don't understand from here? No, we're good. Okay, we're good then. Let's continue here. Uh, over here, hold on, give me a second here. Give me a second because I was supposed to. Why didn't I do that? Weird. All right, sorry for stopping the, the, I was sharing. I'm sharing again, so people let me know. Okay, let's continue. We have this. Would you be able to provide tips, people? Would you be able to provide tips on how to communicate emotional intelligence? This, is quest this question is for you guys. How would you be able, how, how would you like do it? How would you be able to, uh, to, to, to communicate? <laughs> Tell me, people. Anybody? Hello? What tips, people? <laughs> Teacher, when, when I am upset, the fears is that for me? It's to, it's, punch, to punch a person. It's that one. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> okay, it's, it's brief. One. It's brief. Uh, okay. For relaxing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's your first tip to relax. Okay. To breathe. Sorry. I guess, teacher, okay. as, a, as a first step, we always, when we have some situation in our job or in our house and the, the first step that I will do, it is be calm. Okay, that's a good one, that's a good one. Okay, that's, that's perfect. People, what else? More tips? I want to hey, learn. Me? Okay, Sulma and then you, Carla. Sulma? Okay. Uh, I think uh, take time to think and then uh, you think the answer to talk the person or before you send email you need to read it twice uh, <laughs> before it's that send and uh, you can restructure the idea uh, The, the email is not correct. You write angry. Okay. We, we, when, when women, when women are angry, they send, when they send you a message, they send you long texts or audios or audios that last 10 minutes or 12 minutes. No, brother, no. No, only women, teacher. Only women, only women. Yes, of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. Only women. I am. I am one hundred percent sure. Wait, no, I'm two hundred percent sure. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes, people. More, more uh, tips. Me, teacher. Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, I'm sorry. 
No, for, for me, the first step is no self control because this this way you can control uh, you can you can control all uh, all situation. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Okay. People, who else? Me. I think, oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. No, oh, uh, I think that we have, first we have to think mm -hmm. and then we have to respond. Okay, we have to think and then we have to respond. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Me. <laughs> respond, uh, okay. yes. Okay, I think, uh, a good way is, uh, firstly, firstly to understand that, the, uh, to make sure that you understand the situation and then uh, try to express your, your try to express <laughs> and be clearly also when you are expressing your feelings. So you can, manage the situation correctly okay all right all right okay is that your baby feed him must be must be hungry or sleepy no probably sleepy he's already he's late already yes all right very good thank you guys for your opinions i have some some things here that we could like apply they are just tips okay you've mentioned a lot there are some over here that are also good, all right? Yes, people, I want you to do this. I want you to start to start thinking about not very complicated or delicate uh, problems or conflicts. I just wanted to, I want you guys to, to come up with very simple and, and funny things, you know, that can make a mess because there are very, very uh, irrelevant or meaningless situations or things that create chaos. No, it's, it's a total mess. So I will like tell you to, to, to do that later on. All right, I have some tips here. Who wants to read? A volunteer to read? Hi. Me, teacher. <clears throat> okay. Would you be able to provide tips on how to communicate emotional intelligence? One, smile when you communicate. Two, did you listen sincere appreciation? Give your listeners sincere appreciation. Appreciation. Appreciate. Appreciate. Number three. Talk in terms of your listen, listen, inter, interest. Number mm -hmm. four, welcome criticisms. Number five, play yourself down, not up. Number six, say we, not and uh, I. Number seven, don't talk in woody, slow, slow, slow face and mm -hmm. writing. Voice, voice, yes. Uh, number eight, uh, don't force people to accept your point of view. Mm -hmm. Number nine, stop trying to be perfect in everything towards others. And number ten, listen carefully by your mind and deep, deeply deeply by your heart. Okay, all right. It says here, let me read them. If you have a question about the vocabulary, let me know. Uh, the first one is smile when you communicate. The second one is give your listeners sincere appreciation. The third one is talk in terms of your listeners' interest. The fourth one is welcome criticism. The next one is play yourself down, not up. Say we, not I. Seven is don't talk in woody, scowling face or outbreak or end unbraiding face. Sorry, voice. All right. Uh, eight, don't force people to accept your, your point of view. 
Nine, stop trying to be perfect in, every, in everything towards others. And the last one is listen carefully by your mind and deeply by your heart. All right. Is there a question about the vocabulary, guys? Guys? Uh, on writing, teacher. Where I'm braiding. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm face braiding. and number seven. The seven. It says don't talk. Woody. Woody means means boscoso. Okay, boscoso, like rude. Scowling is angry, like this. With your face when you're doing like this, and I'm braiding voices when you're like. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I have some some. Uh, problems with my throat. Mm -hmm. Braden is when you're not talking very well, all right? And what you're saying is not uh, understandable or it's not comprehend, you know? Or you, don't, you don't understand what the person is trying to say, okay? Yes. All right, more questions? But in my opinion, teacher, mm -hmm. depend of the environment mm -hmm. for use these tips. Yeah, exactly. For exactly. example, of course, it's an, it's just an if example. The, if the other person is very, very angry, mm -hmm. smile during the communication. Is possible that the other person um, take a joke or is possible mm -hmm. Ang yeah. anger, <laughs> anger, or welcome criticisms? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depend of the uh, how how the level of proactive uh, maybe uh, or can be the other person criticism because in a specific situation is better keep the calm. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Yes, teacher. I agree on a sermon because it's it is bit difficult to control yourself when the person is angry because we say or do the wrong thing. Is that correct? Yes, yes, all right. So people, number one is good. Smile when you communicate, okay? Don't be, don't be angry, okay? Don't be angry, don't be like, like Julia, don't be like Ada, like Carla, eh? angry, no. A joke, it's a joke. Okay, relax. Teacher, <laughs> I think uh, a tip is missing. Which one don't is express, it? Don't express yourself when you are hungry. Okay. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> don't express yourself when you're hungry. It is true. It is true. Yes. Okay, you start saying like very sensitive things. And no, oh, that's not good. Yes. And don't take decision. When you are anger. Oh yes, it's, it's, it's obvious. Don't take decision. Yes. Me happy, me very happy. Yeah, anger. Never, never. Yes. Take a in my decision. case, in my case, yes, that's bad. It's bad. In my case, I made uh, I made a decision when I was happy and I got married, and then uh, uh, look, <laughs> it's a joke. All right, people, let's continue. We're gonna see some examples here of examples that, that create a very weird, look at this. I think some of you might, might know what, what this is all about. You know, If you read, you will find out what I'm talking about. If you've seen it, good, excellent. You know what the situation is. This, is a, this, this situation here is from a comedy show or a sitcom, uh, well known around the world as friends. And uh, I'm gonna read the situation. Then you will, uh, another person will read and then we will see what, what is happening. Look, 
Look at this, simple actions. Simple actions can lead to catastrophic conflicts. Very simple thing, you know, a very simple thing that you find meaningless, that you think it won't like give you a problem at all. But look at this, Ross left his tuna sandwich in the fridge at work. It was his last sandwich and he took it to work to enjoy it there. He left a note on top of it. The note said that the, what, the, the sandwich was his. Unfortunately, his, bo his boss ate a bit of it and threw most of it away. So look at this situation. How would you guys, how would you guys react to this? It happens, but it, it ha happened to me. Like when you leave something in the fridge in your house, in your house, okay, some food, drink, fruit, whatever you put in the fridge for you to eat later on, somebody, uh, somebody else comes, opens the fridge, eats that, he, he eats it, okay, this person eats it, and then it's, it's simple, but it can create chaos, you know? And look at the situation here. How many of you have seen this, this scene? Okay, you know what happens. You know what happens, right? You know what happens. The guy, the person, or Ross, doesn't take it very well. Okay, if you don't know people, what I'm talking about here, I will send you the video later on after the class. Okay, it's funny. All right, this is what happened. Look at this. He said that the sandwich was the only th good thing uh, going on in his life, right? He was mad. He was angry. All right. Yes. And look at what, 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 what is happening here. Okay. Do you think, do you think, well, this person, this person, this person, Ross, he went, he found out that his boss had eaten his sandwich. Right? He found out, but he didn't, he didn't react well. He didn't react well. And he started yelling. He started yelling and screaming. And I think my internet is, is not working well. Let me turn off my camera. Can you guys hear me? Yes? Yes. yes. I turned off my camera because that makes everything slower. So just for a few minutes, okay? So, I was telling you this person didn't take this 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 uh, situation in a very good way, right? How would you guys how would you guys uh, react to this? Tell me what what is the best solution to this problem? People, what would you do? The first, the first reactions: be angry. Be angry. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, and and asking asking you what happened here? Who eat my sandwich? Mm -hmm. And maybe um, comes to your mind people or person that you think that <laughs> uh, could be. Uh, do do this do that, mm -hmm. but mm, I don't know. Mm. Okay. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> it's. I know, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes some some similar happens to me, but with a soda. Oh no! I put a soda at work in the refrigerator. And someone open it and drink. And I was very angry. I say everything mm -hmm. loud. <laughs> and then I put a a, a, a note. A, a note. This is Kirats. <laughs> what do you write? Sorry. Uh, how do you say? Uh, kill rats? Mataratas? Rat killer. Yeah, rat killer. I put this note. This is rat killers. <laughs> and I put again the, the soda in the refrigerator. 
Your skills, your skills are super advanced. <laughs> How can yes, you I was very young. Hey, Rosa. Hello. I, I remember in, in my job, uh, my co-worker made a job like a, did you say? But they, they, they didn't put a killer rat, but rat they killer. put a, in a, in a, in a sandwich a little detergent. I know. <laughs> yes, because uh, we have a co-worker that always when, put, when we put some food in the, refer, in the refrigerator, What's the when when we had to go to have breakfast, always many people over there asking for hey who took my my food by always the same people only smile hey uh, it it era tuyo it you was yours me? was it yours yeah. yes but uh all uh, that the same people always but sometimes uh, another co-worker uh, put a little detergent in a sandwich but i guess that it was the last Time that that he, like he do that. took another oh food. Gosh. Yes, people. Nice, that, nice advice. <laughs> you see, you you are applying. You're a, you're not applying the, the, like the intelligence that, that we're supposed to, right? We're just active. See, that's that's why this is necessary for you, especially for Rosa. Yes, we are yes. very reactive. <laughs> you are, you have you have problems, right? <laughs> but it was Rosy. It was experiencing if uh, before your seminary. Yes. yes oh, okay, yes, okay, yes, okay. Yes. okay. <laughs> People, let's continue with this. This person uh, acted in the wrong way, and uh, after this scene, he left more food. I don't remember what he left, but he left more food. And he wrote another note, like what, what Rosa was saying. And then after the note, everybody was talking or whispering about him, saying that he was like, like mentally mad, that he was mentally crazy. And in the end, he was, he was not fired from, her, from his job. He was sus kind of suspended from his job, from, from the way he reacted. So that's, that's what uh that's the problem you know for from a very simple thing he lost his job he lost his is job it, yes this here this uh typical conflict in in an office when the the when the office are big and have uh many people it's a uh, common that's typical conflict yes it is a, it's, it's very common yeah i know you're right Okay, let's look at another one. Uh, this is me, and this is real people, es, es cierto. Believe me, believe me. Look at this. <clears throat> uh, no, I'm not gonna read. Let me see down here. Adriana, hi, are you there? Hey, Adriana. Hello, teacher. Could you please read? Okay. Simple actions can lead to catastrophic conflict. Yes. Mauricio started working at this company in 2016. Mm. Uh -huh, 2016. He didn't like to smile. To smile. He has. Uh, he was always acting and being all serious. Yes. Some employees whispered that he believed he has. He was the best employee and that was the reason he acted to so distant. Mauricio started telling hocus, jokes. Hocus, jokes. jokes, thank you, jokes to everyone and he started to smile more. Okay, people look at this simple situation. Mauricio started working at this company in 2016. He didn't like to smile. He was always acting and being all serious. Some employees whispered, whispered, susurrar, okay, whispered that he believed he was the best employee and that that was the reason he acted so distant, okay. And uh, 
Well, I heard I heard a lot of comments and rumors about about employees talking about me. You know, my coworkers they were like uh, talking about me, whispering things about me, like uh, making up rumors and things that were not tr true. Okay, I could have I could have like confronted them. Okay, but that would have created a uh, a bigger problem. You know. So what I did is like, okay, I'm going to ignore what they have said. I'm gonna ignore what they have said. I'm just gonna start, like, you know, to be, to talk to them. And uh, what I did was I just, I used to like come up with these, these uh, jokes. And I started, I started to smile more. Like this person you see here in the picture, that's me smiling, all right? He's a little weird there, but you know, that's when I started smiling more. All right. Yes. Do you think? Do you think I have I applied uh, a good emotional intelligence in this situation? No. <laughs> no. Why not? Why not? Why not? Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. It's just an example. All right. Well, this is true. For real, it is true. All right. But let's continue here. In my opinion, yes, teacher. Yeah, the, the thing is that some people pay pay too much attention on what other people are are, are saying. You know, other people are saying, and uh, they they yes, make because it you were proactive and you changed changed uh, your your mood. Is right. Your what? Your mood? Yes, my mood. Yes. Towards them. Towards them. Yes. All right. This picture is not real. Okay. Is is it is uh, from Snapchat? That's why it's like eh, weird. <laughs> That's not me. Okay, people. Another situation. Hi, Rosa. Sorry. <laughs> Rosa, read, please. Okay. Look. Look at this conflict. Rosalena is an is an employee that likes to that likes to take pictures and record videos of other employees to sell them out with the boss. <laughs> In that way, he bought the boss will notice her more and she will get his protection. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we have a situation here. Oh, sell out people. What is sell out? No, betray, that's sell out, betray, acusar, okay, yes. That's what it is, sell out, acusar, okay, that's what it is, all right. So we have a, we have this situation, this, this situation is very delicate, as you can see, all right. We have a very delicate situation, but well, it's simple and delicate at the same time, you know, and, uh, this, this can take you to a very, very weird area if you pay attention to it, all right? But I have, I have included here three different solutions, okay? Solution A says, have a meeting and talk about the problem peacefully. The second uh, solution to the problem is steal her phone and break it into trillion pieces. And the next, the last one is sue her. Okay, so if you guys apply the emotional intelligence to this situation, which solution would you provide to it? The first one. Letter A. Yeah, the first one. <laughs> Letter A. Okay. No, 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 let's see, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, the most, the, the, the best one here is letter A, okay? Letter A, you're gonna be talking about the problem peacefully. Letter B, no, because you're going to get into problems, okay? And the last one also, it, it, it has problems, okay? So that's, that's how it is, all right? There's another one here. Hi, Julia. Julia, read, please. Okay. Uh, Julia Vasquez, uh, goes to all the cubicles. Cubicles? Cubicles cubicles 
to monitor and criticize what they are doing and saying. Oh, no. <clears throat> Guys, what is your solution? I would like to get a solution from, from uh, Ophelia Guadalupe, Wendy is sick, by the way, Adriana, Jose, Nelson, Gloria, Walter, hi, Patricia. Zulma, Susana, Sandra, hello, people. No? Or anybody from the class? People, today is Monday. Give, give more work to Julia. <laughs> Boy alive, Julia. <laughs> Okay, that's that's a good one too. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, what is your solution to this problem? A possible solution. Guys, hi, I'm waiting. For me, teacher, mm -hmm. is stuck. Start uh, with Julia and say that uh, she do not like them for me. Come again, please. Yes, is talk about um, and Julia in the topics mm -hmm. that uh, she she do is um and on say. And me, uh, no lie on me. Okay, okay, guys, is there another another solution? It's possible, teacher, that talk with Julia and Sojet uh, that don't do this activity. <laughs> Okay, all right. Yeah, you okay. can talk to her and uh, recommend her or suggest her to stop doing what she's doing. All right, Julia, please sure. start. I, I, yes. will, I will talk with her and, and I will say say her that it tell is her. not... I tell her. Uh -huh. I will tell her that it is not correct because... Um, she has to some activities to do in her job. Then it is not correct. Go over there checking what other people are, are do, doing. Yeah, it's true. It's a, it is possible that this activity is it, it, is some is not ethical. In, no, it, it is not. It is not ethical. It is not ethic. That's not ethic at all. Okay, see, okay, it's a, it's a also a, something very simple. I mean, simple because you can fix it by talking, okay, by talking and applying a very good, like uh, a, a good tip, you know? Yes, all right, let's continue here. There's another one, the last one, I think this is the last one. Let me see, uh, Gabriela, read, please, because Edwin, I think he's not there. Okay. Edwin Ayala likes to show off, and he thinks he is the top banana at the workplace. He never gives credit to his co-workers. Okay. Edwin Ayala likes to show off, show off, es presumir, okay, show off. Uh, and he thinks he's the top employee at the workplace, he never gives credit to his co-workers. What is your solution, people? Fire him. <laughs> people, what is your solution? What's a possible solution, guys? He needs to take a seminar about the teamwork. Okay, okay, <laughs> you better think. That would be that would be cool, you know, like like not to tell him that he's doing bad things, but just like suggest him to go to this seminar without telling him 
what that that he is doing bad things, you know, in the way he goes there and he might learn. Okay, good solution, people. Another one, tell me. Not to work with him. <laughs> <laughs> not, to work, not to work with him. All right, <laughs> that's a good one. Another one, and the, the easiest one, fire him. All right, just go, man. Leave the, the place. All right, very good, yes. This is it for, for, for the topics. Now, I want everybody, everybody, I was telling you, I was telling you before that you need it. You need it, actually. You need it to come up with a, a very irrelevant or meaningless, meaningless, let's say, a meaningless problem, whatever problem, okay? But it doesn't have to be something serious. All right? Something very, very simple. So I want everybody, everybody to... To write down, to write down a problem or just one, or right, just one. And for this, I will give you a series of minutes. I will give you a couple of minutes, like five or six minutes, to to come up with the with the problem. All right? Yes. Please, let's do that. We're talking about intelligence. Let me know if you have any questions. <clears throat> Let me know when you finish, people.
Guys, did you finish? Yes, I finished. Excellent. Okay, if you finish, please send, send that problem to the chat, please, to the Zoom chat. Send it there. Could you please send the information to the chat? Everybody, this is for everybody. I see nothing, people. <laughs> Hello. Are you are you typing? Yes, we're typing. Okay, okay. That's what I thought. Sorry. Thank you, Anna, for, for sending the info. I'm curious, wh what is the origin of your name, your second name? What's the origin of it? Tell me. Mm, I am not sure, but in my family, we, we are for Selmi. My my uncle, my your uncle is Selmi. Tell me, sorry. Selmi, 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 but with S, no C. With S. That's in that's my cousin. Your, uh, the other Selmi. Okay. My cousin. A lot of selmis everywhere. <laughs> I believe that it was error. Maybe tell me. You're right. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I'm sorry for your for for saying this, but your what Rosa sent is not is not what I asked for. What I asked for is a problem. All right. Read Anna's problem and you will see what I'm talking about. Ah, okay. Ah. Yes. Mm. Okay, I sent a problem too. You can check it out. Okay, that might be my problem. People, please, please send them send the, the problem to the chat. Everybody, please. I need you guys to do that because we're not going to continue if you don't do it. Okay, okay. Thank you, Luis. Adriana, thank you. 
for sending your problem. So far, we have four problems because there's one over there that doesn't count. Guys, hello. Did you guys send the information? I'm writing. Okay, thank you, Julia. That's why it took us it took you so long because you were writing a lot. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know. People, continue. Thank you, Gabriela. I sent another one. People uh, haven't seen. Uh, uh, thank you, Flor, for, for sending that. Wilfredo, hello, Sandra, Pamela, Susan, Surma, Adam, Walter, Gloria, hello, people, Jose, Nelson. Yeah, that's a good one. When your boss has preferences for the people that don't work good, yes, yes. that's true. It happens. It happens. <laughs> yes. It is true. Yes. <laughs> Guys. All right. I'm still waiting for the rest to send the, the, the problems to the chat. Okay, I think everybody can see them. I think everybody can see them. I'm gonna I'm gonna create some groups. In the groups, I want you guys to discuss some of the problems were here. Not all of them, not all of them. Okay. But I want you guys to talk about this, to discuss the solution, okay? But I want you guys, thank you, Jose, for sending your problem. But I want you guys to create or to come up with a solution that uh, that is for well, a win-to-win, -win, a win-win solution. A win-win solution that, in, that nobody loses, okay? Yes, that's what I want. A solution in which both parties win all right that's what i want thank you for the ones that are that are sending the, the the problems thank you thank you very much for that yes people from the from the chat go to the chat choose choose some problems and provide a solution okay that's what we're gonna do but it's not gonna be individual you can choose you can choose whatever problem you want all right whatever problem you want but you have to you have to give me a very uh, a good solution in which both parties, you know, win. All right, let me just create the groups and uh, well, choose whatever problem you want. All right, let's go. And I will be checking what you're doing. All right.
Hi guys, do you hear me? There are six people here. <laughs> guys, hello, Gloria, Sandra. Wendy, are you, I know you're sick, sorry. Ana Patricia, Guadalupe, and Pamela. Because it's a disrespect, high disrespect. I'm here, people. I'm listening. They, they line manager that another uh, department uh, is pick up at the as the. Uh, other employees. For me, for me, if the first step is reporting with a human result because he disrespect to the employees because there are many ways to say uh, indication or or suggest suggesting suggestions suggestion yes am I looking at your cat or oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. Or oh, something else. She she want to she want she want uh, go to the bed. <laughs> okay. All right. People continue talking about it, please. Okay. Okay. Yes. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Sorry. Uh, you, uh, wait. With the presentation. <clears throat> no, that's not necessary. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Apologies. No, that's not necessary. What you can do is this: just write the solution, okay? Okay. And uh, in the in the main session, one of you is going to read the problem, and the other person is going to read the solution, okay? Uh, okay. okay. So since it is just two people, you are just two people. Just choose two problem, one each, okay? Ah. Uh. Right. Just two. Yes. Okay. Help each other with the solution, and then you can, like, I don't know, you can uh, see how you're going to present it, all right? Teacher, one the solution for the problem. Yes. All right. You're, oh. going, to, you're going to choose two problems from the list, okay? Uh -huh. Two problems from the list, and uh, uh, come up with the solution, and, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, guys, continue. Thank you. Hi, what is happening here? Hi, teacher. Uh, I think I'm alone. <laughs> She's not available? I don't think so. Okay, let me send you to another group and I will send her to another group too, but in a group where there are more people. She's, she's gonna be silent. Now, I'm going to send you to a group where you can uh, practice, okay? Okay, thank you. Yes. Hi, guys. I'm Hi. back. Okay, I'm, back. I, I'm, just, I'm just back because I want to tell you that, that I, brought, I brought Julia here. So Julia is here, okay? Hi. Okay. <laughs> Hi, no problem. I, I today uh, today uh, will be three three problems. Exactly, exactly. Yes, three problems. <laughs> okay. That's that's you. You are the three problems. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Relax. No. Don't take me, don't take me seriously, okay? I'm joking. That's me. That's Mauricio. Mauricio likes joking. Okay. If, if you feel if you ever if you if you feel sad, if you feel sad, do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, see you later. Uh, Hi. How is everything going over here? Sorry, Hi, teacher. How is everything going over here? Uh, you uh, we are talking with Gabriela about some people that are in her, her job uh -huh. are pretty sent to everyone there so we are discussing what well, decided that maybe you can you need to talk directly with that kind of person to make me noise that the that they are doing affect on not the the comments that they are doing affect to someone else and if you don't have any reason and resolve to them maybe you need to talk with a supervisor supervisor uh to learn what supervisor super super supervisor no supervisor supervisor ah uh, supervisor yes. sorry it's okay to a supervisor mm -hmm. To make it, to resolve the conflict, because it's not only affect uh person also affect the job and the working and the also the um, everything pretty much uh, everything yeah uh, yeah all right excellent people continue all right that's an excellent that's excellent okay yeah my problem I will say that maybe in a couple where they are uh, people uh, married. Mm -hmm. A couple is annoying for the bad uses of two past it. Each other is different. Like it's a kind of common that a little uh, actions can be bothered to another one. Maybe it's, maybe it could be more when someone is perfectionist. Okay, okay. All right, guys, continue talking about it, okay? Please. Okay. Yes. Okay. See you soon. I have a, a colleague uh, who speak ill of other co workers. Um, in this moment, and nothing is. He will talk with she because um, now because Nadia no one no one uh -huh. because no one uh, give the importance the problem and maybe um, maybe uh, I think the solution uh, for me uh, uh, is um, what I would do um, is told the boss uh, uh, so that he talks to her and make him see the error. The mistake. A mistake. Mm -hmm. All right, continue guys. Yes, there are four people here. One, two, three, four, yes. But Sulma, Sulma I think Sulma is not available. She's, she's busy. Okay, so she's here, but she's not here, okay? Okay. All right, guys, continue. Okay, for, me, for me, I have any problem 
en mi Okay. Hi, I'm here. Yeah. I think I'm back to the group I left or uh, <laughs> yeah, Oh no. Okay. Sorry guys. Hello. Promotion Susan. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. When she gave gave you the your oh, no. evaluation yeah. for you for your performance. Yes. Please, yes. you remember my, <laughs> all my activities and the other activities I support them, the other yes. department. Yes, the bad is when the people only remember when you don't make something. Yeah, it's part of the, how do you say teacher, the, the life part of life yeah it's, yeah. it's, it's part of the life yes exactly <laughs> part of yes. life yes yes because it's easier when the co-worker don't support in ah why why uh you are but co-worker, but no, depend of the circumstances, depend of the situation. It's possible that the, the co-worker has a lot of um, responsibilities or a lot of work in, in that moment. Yeah. Uh, it's necessary the empathy in that case, the empathy. All right, yes. Yes, you, yes, I understand you. <laughs> Some co-workers need empathy with you. <laughs> but it's, it's complicated, but it's easier when I change or I, I want to change, but it's more mm -hmm. complicated when I try to change the other person. Yes, yeah, true. Yeah, <clears throat> I think things have to most important where area. If you work in my case, I work with the fiction. I think she needs she needs resolve. I think it's the refrigerator. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and now we have a camera. <laughs> in, in my company, we have an area that we we need the los parados because we go we go there and we can bring a cup of coffee and we always talk with, with another coworker. Yeah. But so, sometimes I remember that um, a friend told to another coworker, "Hey, do you want this this uh, sandwich?" Oh yes, uh, he said. But start to eat when the when I, I remember it. but she she was a manager a process process manager and they start to talk with us and she she told to the coworker hey what are you eating my son <laughs> <laughs> they they told me that I I could eat. But oh, many, uh, let me see. But everybody start to to smile. But she was very angry with us. <laughs> hey, but it's a good idea. Put some camera over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Hello. have a camera. <laughs> Hello, teacher. I am here. I think Jose is not available. Okay. No, yeah, Jose was talking with us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We share or or. Hey. I'm here, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, th I thought you were busy. I, I'm still listening. <laughs> okay. I thought you were busy. That's why I was asking. Yes. But the good thing is that you're here. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Let me go to another another group. Okay. Guys, continue. Okay, okay. okay teacher. Okay. Yeah. Oh.
I'm gonna get okay. to the end. There is a co-worker who is always late to who is always late for the office. There's always a co-worker that arrives late. There's always, ah, okay. always. Always. Yes. Not you, right? <laughs> okay. okay, okay. I don't hear you guys. You finish? Did you finish? Uh, almost. almost. All right. All right. Good. Excellent. Okay. I'm just I'm just checking. Okay. 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 Right. Let me go to a different group. Earth, right. But uh, first, you can be an uh, empathy with him. Emphatic. But if he always what? Emphatic. You. Emphatic. 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 You said empathy, no emphatic. Emphatic. Ah, sorry. Mm. Uh, and if they don't, uh, they continue to do more excuses. You made me. Maybe maybe you need to. You really asking what happened? What happening? Because the work need to continue working, and if he has problem, not only to you, you uh, that you say, um, if well, if also the work uh, he will be affected. So, um, so over everyone has or personal problems, but he need to know that it can. Uh, affect the work that he he do. He does. You're Hello. correct. Mm -hmm. What about you, uh, Pamela? I'm Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. What about you, Gabriela? It's okay. <laughs> you need to say yes. uh, because that was because <laughs> your names are similar. <laughs> yes. Are similar. <laughs> um, may I ask? May I ask you uh, what kind of excuses he provides? Because uh, there, there are. If there are, a, mm, I don't know, family or personal excuses. Because actually, no. May. He's always saying that the the tools okay. are. Uh, kind of slow but we check with the IT department and, and everything is 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 running well mm, okay. and you had considered uh, should be placed in another mm -hmm. area have you considered have you considered it? It's yes uh -huh. yes yes actually I will have a meeting with another manager uh, tomorrow in reference this this employee and this topic. Wait, hold and on. Are you being serious about this? Sorry? Are you being serious about this? Yes. Is it for real? <laughs> Is it for real? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's okay, that makes it better, you know. <laughs> you can give yes. some ideas for this person. Yes, what what we do normally in this type of situation, we create an, an action plan. So yeah, tomorrow good. it seems that we're going to uh, create a, a a plan improvement, uh, a performance plan improvement under uh, this ecology. But yeah, we, we need to follow a process, right? And 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 your advi advices um, for you both are 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 are, are great. So. I will take it into consideration. Thank you. Your your pieces of advice. Yes, from both Gabriela and Pamela. Advice. Advice is consejo, right? 
correct? Yes. And uh, we cannot say um, advices. We say pieces of advice in plural. Okay. I, I just sent it to the chat, I, just in case. An advice come, come with, with S is, is a concejal, right? Yep. Okay, yes. I thought you were, I thought that it was just a situation, you know, a made up situation, but it's real. <laughs> okay. I think I think most of the problems that we have here are real, you know. Maybe not our, our company, but in different companies, it might be real, you know. All right, yeah. guys, continue. Uh, I'm gonna send you back to the main session in a few seconds or minutes, okay? In a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna, gonna, I'm gonna go to a different group. Let me just go see what's up. Okay. You finish, people. I can hear you very well, Mauricio. Can you repeat? How do you say what? Menospreciar. Sorry? Menospreciar. Okay. Underestimate. 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 Understand. Understand. Underestimate. Underestimate. Uh, other people. Other people. I don't respect uh, uh, area the, the people. Uh, it's very complicated. Uh, for me, uh, no problem. I'm not confused. I am not confused. For the families, they not confused. Yes, but it's difficult uh, living with the kind of people. It's difficult. Oh, yes, yes. It's difficult. What about you, your problem, Walter? Sure. Not solution. Walter, I think uh, we, we, Walter, hi. We, I cannot understand what you're saying. I no, no. I think your, your microphone might, must be like giving you some problems because I, I cannot really understand what you're saying. More feedback. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, it is a writing. It is a writing teacher. I love writing. Okay. I understand now. Okay. That's, that's why. That's why. Yeah, it is raining. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry, I didn't know. All right, guys, continue, please. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to a different group and then we will go back to the main session, okay? Yes, in the room. No, the no, drama is, is very important. For difficult. This is the first yes. time. This is the first time I see Susana. Hi, Susana. Nice to meet you. Hi, hi. <laughs> really? Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Teacher, I introduced to uh, Susana. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Hi. Yes. Thank you. I'm Mauricio. Okay. Oh, uh, you. Yes. These and ladies I, give me many, many. Consejos? Advice. 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 Many. Advice. Many advice. Oh, okay. okay. Si es, if it's si plural, vamos al chat. So let me go al chat. 
este advice es consejo. Ok, si es plural, le ponemos pieces of advice. Ok, advice no se puede hacer plural. No se puede hacer plural. Advice. Ah, okay. Advice or piece of advice. Ajá, yes. Si es advice oh. with, with S, si es con S sería aconsejar, es la acción. The verb. The verb. The verb. With S, with S, not with C. Ok. In that case, uh -huh. if it is a verb, you can say advices, if it is a verb. Okay. Yes, in the pair. Ah, in okay. The now, no. In the now, now, in the noun is advice, only the singular piece of advice. Pieces, pieces of advice. Ah, pieces. No. Pieces of advice. Okay. Pieces of advice, yes. Ah, good teacher. The same, the same happens with, with information, information, pieces of information, homework, pieces of homework, etc. Okay. Information okay. too, because it's not possible to include it. Exactly, exactly. Yes, you're right. All right. Sure. We're going to okay. go. Back. Hey, nice, nice to see you, Susana. <laughs> Thank you. I thought, I thought, I, I thought you were a man. <laughs> I, never seen you, I had never seen you before, so I thought maybe a man. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yes. It's a joke. Susi, okay. we, Susi is very. Very friendly. And yes, kind. I am. Yes, it's okay. kind. Thank you. Yes, you are very friendly. And I like I like the smile. People, <laughs> yes. people <have> picture, right? <laughs> First of all, okay. People, I try I try to your camera in the other class. Okay, okay. Let me go. Let me let's go back to the main session. Okay, it's time. Okay. I will see you Thank guys. Thank you, back teacher. Here. Thank you, classmate. I will see you back. Bye. Bye. Hi, we're back. Okay, guys, thank you for being here, for staying, yes. Okay, let me see. Mm, I want to hear. Volunteer or volunteers? People, hello. No. Okay. Carla Vasquez, hi. Hi, teacher. Okay, you. Okay. My problem is a colleague is always always late for the office. Mm -hmm. And solution. First step, talk to him and ask what's going on. What's the problem with his late arrival every day? Make arrivals. Mm -hmm. Make arrival, okay. And another step or possible step is change work schedule. Because it's possible, it's possible for he is available to enter more late but uh, go out late too. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Only that. Okay, is there another one? You were working- no, with... Our three, our, our three problem, but Julie? You, you, Julia? Or Flor? Julia is not here. I think Julia is taking pictures. In Flor? 
Yes, my problem is the, the boss of another department yells at the employees. The solution report to human resource is sent to emotional intelligence training. A do performance appraisal only. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I think Julia left. I'm not really sure. But that's that's all right. That's okay. Uh, Gabriela, hi. Gabriela? Or who was working with Gabriela? Hello. Okay. Sorry, guys. Go ahead. Tell me. Uh, about the pro yes. problems. Yes. Yeah. Yes, please. We talk about uh, the Gabriela's problem was about uh, some in some people in her work that has uh, they are, are criticizing the person that work in the same place. Mm -hmm. So uh, we this we discussing about one of the solution could be uh, uh, directly talk with that per that person uh, who are doing that to say that also they can affect not only the uh, the co-workers so, so you affect the all the environment around a place and if we don't have a solution with that you'll need to go to a supervisor to let know about the problem, the real problem that also affect the uh, the work and the environment. All right. Okay. Okay. Is there another solution from you guys? If you're above uh, that uh, employees, uh, you can have a meeting with them and, and just to um, maybe reinforce the company values mm -hmm. to make sure that they stop uh, doing uh, that type of uh, behavior or continue yeah. with that type of behavior. Like practice the behavior, huh? Yes. Okay, okay, that's a good one too. All right, uh, <clears throat> we do not have more time, okay? But I was I was monitoring everybody and I, I I could see that you were guys, you were practicing and discussing everything. Okay, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Nelson, you stayed last time, right? Nelson? Yeah, teacher. You stayed on Friday, right? Last Friday? Yeah. Okay, so today, hoy se queda después de la clase, Ophelia, hi. Okay, teacher. Ophelia, confirma, yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, let me take attendance. Ada Patricia Linares. Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Ana Selmi. Present teacher. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here teacher. Guadalupe Carmen Lopez. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Julia Patricia Vázquez. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present teacher. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Uh, Luis Orlando Rodríguez. Here. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez. Present teacher. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night, present. Hi, good night. Uh, Rosa Elena Salgado. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez. Present, teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández. Present. 
Walter Mauricio Morales. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado. Present teacher. Suma Rosabra López. Present. Rode María. Present. Edwin Alexander. And Wendy Patricia Molina. Okay, people, we have we have finished. So thank you for being here. I know you are sleepy. Go to sleep, rest. Okay, drink some coffee, drink some tea and or some milk, and then go to sleep. All right, people, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Sleep well, and uh, be ready for tomorrow. Okay, bring more energy. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. 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 Hello, teacher. Hi, Ophelia. Hi, teacher. Ophelia, do you have one? Well, in this espacio, in this, in this uh, moment, we have uh, some minutes for you to ask me whatever question you want for the topics mm -hmm. we've seen. Uh, teacher, que hay unas cosas que, que me cuesta entender y mm -hmm. me traba la lengua para hablar. That's okay. I understand. Entiendo, entiendo. Sí, sí. Okay. Eh, es unas que no Las del viernes pasado no entendí la clase porque me confundí. Okay. Si gusta le explico más o menos cómo, cómo es. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Alex, okay. We were uh, hablamos del, del tercer condicional. Mm -hmm. Okay. Usamos el condicional para expresar imagen. Mm -hmm que son, uh, se usa para expresar situaciones que son imagina imaginarias, okay? algo que es imaginario, es imaginario, okay? que no, no es real, que es hipotético. Uh -huh. Hypothetical situations. Uh -huh. okay? Así es, para eso se usa el condicional tercero, okay? o el tercero condicional, para expresar uh -huh. algo que es imaginario o para expresar algo que es hipotético. Que no es real. Real. Y lo que, lo que, lo que mata a las personas acá, a los alumnos, es el, el, la estructura. Es bastante complicada. Siempre iniciamos, bueno, no siempre, pero iniciamos una oración con if. Ese if significa sí. Ok. Sí. If, I, if I had, si yo hubiera, aquí dice si yo hubiera, sí. if I had gone, si hubiera sí. ido, Going to work today. Ok. Si hubiera ido al trabajo hoy. Ok. Quiere decir que no fue. No fue. I would have met the CEO. Ok. Ese would have met es otra combinación bien complicada también. Okay. If I had gone to work today, si hubiera ido a trabajar hoy o al trabajo hoy, aquí dice, habría conocido, dice, habría conocido al CEO. El CEO es el jefe, okay. 
el, uh -huh. el supremo. Ya, okay. sí. uh -huh. Y la estructura siempre lleva, siempre llevamos el had, siempre uh -huh. el had de la estructura. Uh -huh. También este, el had siempre está ahí y está fijo, con el would have también ya está fijo. Ok, lo que cambia en este caso es el verbo que está en rojo. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Ese verbo en rojo tenemos el verbo go. El verbo go es esa base form, es su forma base que es ir. Ok. Uh -huh. Wait, se me va a la copa. Demos un segundo. Demos un segundo. Okay, sorry, will be. Okay. Como le decía, los verbos, cada verbo tiene tres formas. Bueno, cinco formas. Cinco formas. Uh, las tres más importantes son presente, pasado y el participio. Okay. Presente, pasado y participio. Esto que está acá que dice base form o base o forma base, ese es el presente. Ese es el presente, ok. Present. Si es el pasado, go es ir, el presente. Okay, ir. Si es el pasado, que significa fui, el pasado sería went. Okay. Go es presente, que significa ir. Went es pasado, que significa fui. Y la, la que estamos usando acá arriba es gone. Okay, que eso se llama pasado participio. participio. Uh -huh. Ok, pasado participio. Ese gone significa ido. Ido. Ok. Entonces, este gone que podemos ver acá, lo, lo pondré en verde para que se, se vea la diferencia. Uh -huh. Ok, ese gone que he escrito en la... En la uh -huh. Ok, ese gong que he escrito es el que hemos colocado arriba de la oración de if, si puede ver. Okay. Uh -huh. Acá arriba está, gone. Ok, uh -huh. entonces, entonces, después del had, en esta estructura, ok, en esta estructura, después del had pondremos cualquier verbo acá, pero ese verbo tiene que ir en su forma participio. Participio. Uh -huh. Ok. En esta que está acá, ¿ok? Uh -huh. En su forma participia. No en presente, no en pasado, sino que tiene que ir en participio, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Cualquier verbo que se use. Y eso aplica para ambos verbos. Lo que está en rojo, para ambos, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Tanto el primero como el segundo, acá, uh -huh. met. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Lo pongo aquí. Ese met es meet. Okay. El presente sería meet, que significa conocer o reunirse. Ahí lo he colocado en azul. En pasado es met. Le quitamos una E en pasado, que significa conocí o me reuní. Y acá en participio también sería met, el mismo que está en pasado, okay, uh -huh. que, es cono que significa conocido o reunido. Ok, sí. Ok. ¿Ya? Lo más sí, complicado dice. acá es la estructura, como le explicaba. Uh, Ofelia, también ve acá que también puedo hacer esto. Observe esto que voy a hacer en este momento. Voy a copiar acá este, esta oración, pegarla acá. Uh -huh. Y la otra. A la par. Y pegarla. Y también se puede así. De ambas formas, ¿ok? De ambas formas, solo que la coma ya, ya no se usa. Ya no se usa. ¿eh? Ok. Pongamos otro ejemplo. Pongamos, uh -huh. si Ofelia okay. ja, hubiera Ok, mire. Si Ofelia uh -huh. hubiera comido pizza, uh -huh. ahí está la estructura, la pondremos uh -huh. en, en morado. Uh 
Si Ofelia uh -huh. hubiera comido pizza, ok, uh -huh. ella habría, ok, she would have, ella habría, como puede ver, ese would have no se mueve, siempre lo seguimos usando. Okay. Igual que el had, no se mueve, también está ahí, siempre lo seguimos usando. ¿Sí? Le usamos el participio de cualquier verbo. Acá está el participio del verbo comer, que en este caso es comido. Si hubiera, si Ophelia hubiera comido pizza, ella habría, ella habría, como decir, estado, Estado. Feliz. Okay. Feliz. Ajá. Feliz. Feliz. Ajá. Y así es la estructura. Es el being, es el verbo en participio. Ok. Ser. En participio. Ok. ¿Qué ajá. significa ser o estar? Ok. Fui ajá. o estuve. Fui o estuve. Y aquí es sido. Ok. En este caso sido. significa sido. Hubiera sido, sido. feliz. O habría sido feliz. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? ¿Más o menos? Ok. Ya, ya lo entendí. Por esa la parte, digamos, del, de los verbos cambian. Lo demás no, no sí, cambia. Sí, lo demás, lo demás no cambia. Eso es, el verbo, eso es lo que lo hace complicado. A la, porque tiene que, que saber qué, qué forma de verbo va. Ajá, qué, ajá. ¿Qué verbo se va a utilizar? La forma del verbo, más bien. Eso es lo complicado. La forma. Ok. Sí. Okay. Más preguntas, Ofelia. Solo eso, Tiche. ¿Y cómo hago para aprender más, Tiche? Que a mí me cuesta. Practiquemos bastante. Sí. Okay. Tratemos okay. de, bueno, trate de practicar o memorizar alguna palabra, alguna expresión todos los días. Todos los días. Todos los días. Sí. Todos los días, sí. sin parar, de lunes a domingo y luego repetir. 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 Uh, yo cuando aprendí inglés hace un, varios años ya, uh, aprendía de una forma masiva. 15 palabras sí. diarias, de 15 a 20 diarias. Pero en ese tiempo tenía mucho tiempo libre, tenía tiempo libre a morir, tenía 5 o 6 horas libres, entonces tenía tiempo para poder practicar todos los días. Y era de, dom, de lunes a domingo. Sí. Ok. Sí. Eso, sí, la práctica hace el maestro. Sí. Bien. Sí. Bien. Okay. sí. Okay. Un gusto, Ophelia. Un gusto. Bye, gracias, Tiche. Se cuida Buenas noches. Okay. Bye, bye. Sí, yo mañana. Sí, yo mañana. Yes, Tiche. Bye, bye.